I'll show you a few things you can do to make the experience editing a WordPress page just a bit nicer and maybe have it make a little bit more sense. So something like this is what your editing experience looks like. And this is where we're going to get to where the the, the main things you probably just notice is the title area moved to the top and over here on the left, there's this quick access bar that you can pin the blocks that you use most of the time in all of your layouts. And that way you can build layouts a little quicker. There's a couple other improvements under the hood that you'll also be able to do here. So let me go back on the site that doesn't have these improvements and let me show you what to do. So this are going to be coming from the free Spectra plugin. So you would go to plugins, click on add new, do a quick search here for Spectra. That's spelled S-P-E-C-T-R-A. And here is the plugin. You would install and activate it. And then when you go to Spectra's settings, there's this option here that says editor enhancements. And these are optional features that you can enable to enhance the editor experience. So the first one is the quick access bar. You could toggle that on. Now with the quick access bar is this over here on the left. Right here you could see there's a plus and I can click on this and I can add any block that is added to my site, even from any plugin that adds blocks, you can just choose that block and it gets added to this quick access bar. So let's go ahead and add a block. Uh, say I use this option here for short code a lot. I'll click on it and you can see there it is. It's been added to my quick access bar. Any of these, I can hover over them and I can click on this little X and it gets removed. So I can truly customize this with the blocks that I use the most. And depending on how many blocks you use and how high, how big your monitor is, you might be able to fit like uh, 10, maybe 12 of your most used blocks. And this is gonna save you from every time having to click on the plus and then scroll through here and pick the block that you're looking for. Uh, it'll help you to move quicker and improve your workflow. So that was the first option. There's also some improvements of rearranging. If you noticed, uh, I can't rearrange. I can't like drag and rearrange. I don't believe I can. Nope, I can't. Uh, I can drag and drop something onto the canvas, uh, but I can't rearrange here. But there's uh, an update coming to this to be able to rearrange your blocks. So that's the first one. The second option here is to move the title to the top. And when you toggle this on, and this makes like, the most logical sense to me, because typically there's this big title area here taken on every single page that you're on for the title. And uh, I, I, I know that never really made sense to me. So this option is going to move it up here where there's all this white space and it can easily be moved to. And so that's it there. Uh, this right here, this icon is added by the theme I'm using. And what it does is it will, when I click on it, it will hide the page title when viewing the page on the front end. So I like that one a lot because it makes it more feel more like a, a true page building experience. The next option I didn't show in the beginning of the video, and that's right here. It says collapse panels. I really like this option. So what happens now is when you are, say, editing one of your blocks and you have all these settings panels here, when you open one and then open a second one, it typically just keeps them all open. So it's sometimes hard to scroll through everything. What this option does is it will close the last used panel. So it'll automatically collapse it. So if I want to go to this panel here that says background, I click on it, it closes the panel I was in and opens up the panel. Now this I prefer, but uh, your mileage may vary. Maybe you prefer having them all open, but you get the choice here. You can easily toggle this on. Now there's one other, well, there's multiple other enhancements, but there's another one that I absolutely love. And it's underneath editor options and then scroll down to the bottom. And these are more options right here, but I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom and it's right here, automatic block recovery. This is a godsend. So sometimes, and everyone that's used the block editor has experienced this, maybe your block, you're using a template 
from someone, you add the template and there's a lot of parts on the page that says this block needs to be recovered. So maybe there's 10 on that particular page and for every block you got to click on the recovery. It's kind of a pain to be honest. And sometimes maybe you have a block package that you're using and they came out with an update and maybe a couple of the blocks have crashed and you have to click on that every single time for this new update. So what this does is if there's any, when it's enabled, if there's any blocks on the page that need to be recovered, it's automatically gonna recover those the minute you view the page. And it all happens in a split second, just like that. So this is really a time saver uh, when you're in that situation. So now when you have this on, you won't, you won't even notice uh, if there is uh, an issue like that. Like I said, you're mostly gonna see this if you're using templates or someone gave you a template uh, or you're getting templates from some vendor or third party, uh, sometimes that template was made in a prior version of the plugin or whatever that was used in it. So the block will crash and it just needs to be recovered. So I really like this one as well. I'm wondering though, what is your, if you have any annoyances with the block editor and the experience of editing blocks, I wanna hear down below what, what is it that you think could be improved. <laughs>